Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, so, uh, first of all, uh, I want to uh, say hi to everyone and uh, thank you for uh, this possibility to share this stage with you, uh, especially right now in this uh, a, a to najmä, najmä teraz, v týchto časoch, volám sa Katrína a, a s, mám projekt Bike for Ukraine a, a teda venujem sa cyk- cyklistike. A, a teda pracujem pre mimovládnu organizáciu, ktorá v ukrajinských, v ukrajinských mestách So the member of UCF and uh, since uh, 2019 we run our activity under a uh, new brand name Ucycle uh, which means you uh, Ukraine and uh, Urban uh, we have approximately 800 uh, uh, members uh, we have uh, chairman person uh, and five board members uh, we also have uh, office staff and uh, more than 120 active volunteers. But uh, um, what we actually doing right now, since the war started in our country, uh, many of our activists and members and also uh, the team uh, uh, joined the armed force of Ukraine. On the picture you can see uh, Bogdan Lipavka, who is the uh, national advocacy coordinator of Ucycle. Uh, he is fighting uh, in the Chernigiv region and defends our country. Uh, also, because we uh, already were involved in volunteer, for us it was easy to mobilize to, to fill different needs that appear because of the war. So we supporting defenders uh, with uh, protectional gears, radios, tactical shoes, uh, power generator banks, and much more. On the picture you can see our uh, director uh, Nastya Makarenka and uh, uh, project manager uh, Natalia Knyazeva on a rail station in Kyiv where they uh, receive the humanitarian uh, aids uh, from the trains. Uh, also, we um, launched uh, a multilingual uh, war daily update uh, project to spread information uh, about uh, the war uh, in Ukraine. Uh, so if you want uh, to receive uh, the news uh, and uh, have possibility to share it, uh, please visit Ucycle uh, Facebook page uh, where we regularly post updates. Uh, also, uh, the web page sharethetruth.org. Uh, We will be grateful if you will be able to share the truth information among your friends and colleagues. Uh, also, we were involved uh, in evacuation and air distribution. Uh, and uh, all this happened uh, before uh, April uh, 15. Uh, we were involved mostly in activity not related to, to uh, bicycles at all. Um, but uh, from April, we started to, to receive more and more requests from volunteers and activists all, all around uh, the Ukraine, uh, especially in the city uh, that were affected by war. Uh, Chernivtsi, Sum, Kharkiv, uh, towns in Kyiv region, uh, because the most uh, part of transport infrastructure was um, destroyed. And also the lack of gasoline and people still need possibility to have mobility. Uh, bike becomes a solution for them. Uh, you can see here that, uh, as we know, bicycle is a transport for all way, uh, all ages. And unfortunately, during the war, it's uh, uh, only two ways to get around uh, uh, by feet or by bicycle. Uh, also on the uh, picture uh, on the uh, uh, left corner you can see uh, that people some people uh, cycle to the Russian uh, black post uh, in Kherson by bicycle then uh, just uh, leave the bicycle and go by foot uh, because it was uh, really dangerous to um, evacuate uh, or with the car um, because uh, they continue to shoot in cars and uh, I personally, uh, on our first day when we escape in Kiev with my husband, we don't have cars. So my husband, uh, at, at the beginning, he should cycle to his brother to took the car 
one more family car so we can uh, drive away. Uh, so I can say that bicycle maybe even uh, save uh, our lives. And uh, uh, like, as you see, uh, infrastructure, roads, bridge, shops, social institutions are mostly ruined. And uh, uh, also the fuel storage was uh, one of the points uh, where the Russian uh, mostly sends uh, uh, shellings. So there is a lack of gasoline. And uh, the needs uh, of delivery, humanitarian aids, uh, foods, medicine uh, among the uh, civilians uh, is uh, uh, increasing. Uh, so volunteers and activists using bikes to, to deliver these goods. So for this purpose, we uh, decide to launch the campaign Bikes for Ukraine. The purpose is to provide mobility for volunteers uh, and activists uh, that uh, provide humanitarian aid door-to-door -door delivery. Uh, it will have direct benefits uh, on uh, vulnerable population, persons with disabilities, uh, the elder people, the, the poor family, family with infants, uh, the people who are not able to uh, receive uh, uh, possibility to uh, have food or medicine in this hard time. Uh, also, it helped to mit uh, mitigate the fuel crisis and uh, also raise the spirit of people because cycling make people more optimistic and more energetic. Uh, so right now we will receive already near 1,200 uh, requests uh, uh, for bicycles and they uh, keep coming. Um, we uh, already uh, purse and deliver uh, 70, uh, 70 uh, bicycle. Um, uh, yeah, uh, that was used as uh, share, uh, sharing bikes and uh, we continue negotiated with our partners and friends from cycle organization all over the world who were able to gather uh, and uh, provide us some bikes so far we are negotiating about 350 bikes from germany uh, so first, uh, 70 bikes already uh, in use. Uh, you can see uh, how uh, activists share the goods. Uh, mm. <clears throat> so how you can support and participate. Uh, first of all, uh, you can start uh, gathering the bike with your organization or initiative and donate a bicycle as a humanitarian aid for us. Uh, and second, we are uh, starting the fundraising campaign. Uh, we will uh, uh, use a good bicycle in uh, Europe and send it to Ukraine. You can uh, follow the uh, QR code on the, on, the, on the screen for more information. And also you can share information about this campaign among your networks and uh, industry, industry contacts, and this will help to uh, have possibility to get more work and, and improve mobility for peoples. Uh, we have no double that uh, we will uh, get through this war and will rebuild better, stronger, sustainable city and communities. And uh, the bicycle and uh, your support uh, will play a key role in this. Uh, thank you so much for your time and uh, please uh, stand with Ukraine. Sorry, <laughs> Katarina, uh, stay with us for a moment. I am the moderating the conference. There was clapping, probably you hear, then you can see people. So I know that you have already uh, uh, gave us some information about what can be done. But I will try to ask people whether there is any question to Katerina. Okay. So not for the moment. So is there anything what you would like to stress uh, at the end of your presentation? Mm, I, I just want to um, thank uh, one more time for all uh, our um, friends in Europe 
uh, that supports uh, all Ukrainians right now in this moment, spread information, uh, donate uh, humanitarian aid, uh, just uh, ask how we are. It's uh, really help us uh, and uh, give us uh, the uh, power to fight. Uh, and uh, I'm sure we will win all together. And uh, we will meet all in a peaceful Ukraine um, in a Ukrainian cycling conference, uh, which name is Velo Forum. So I'm looking forward for that. And uh, thank you one more time. Goodbye. Bye.